A warm welcome to all the attendees of uh, today's uh, Veritas lecture series and a warm welcome to the speakers, of course. Yes, as she mentioned, the idea for the lecture series um, is to bring industry leaders in the sector that we are involved in, the construction, development, transportation uh, industry, to bring them all together and to share knowledge in, in this ecosystem, because it's too few the opportunities to do that all together. It's also meant to be a forum to uh, network and do business development amongst each other. So I hope that you take advantage of all the, uh, the, uh, the ways to meet your other attendees at today's uh, event. This is the first time the lecture series has gone uh, to a digital format, and we're very excited about this because it has many advantages. Uh, the first and very important to us, it, it really is a way to reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, previous uh, lecture series uh, you know, are very heavy carbon cost because of the transportation and all the food and air conditioning that's required. So we're very excited that um, this online mode will reduce the carbon footprint. It's also a lot cheaper <laughs> to uh, to organize a, a conference online like this. Uh, but it's also a, a way for people to reach and connect with each other easier. Uh, we have almost 500 people here today from all kinds of backgrounds, and I hope that you will uh, use the uh, technology available on this platform to connect and reach out and have some private discussions uh, with each other, people that you find interesting that may be useful uh, in your own areas of interest. The reason for this topic on transportation, uh, I think it's very, very timely. You know, Veritas has long been an advocate for mass public transportation as an alternative to private vehicles. Um, you know, climate change is a very important part of uh, what we need to deal with uh, going forward. And uh, we all know that transportation uh, consumes a very large quantity of uh, greenhouse gas emissions in the world. Uh, according to some estimates, as up to between 20 to 40 percent of greenhouse gas emissions are linked to transportation. So everything we can do to reduce that uh, footprint uh, will be positive. Uh, here in Malaysia, uh, a tremendous amount of, a large degree of our transportation is still private vehicles. So we have a lot of work to do to find ways to uh, change the the, uh, the calculation to increase our our, uh, our 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 use of private vehicles. For example, I'm often shocked by the fact that Seoul, Korea, uh, compared to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, we're both about the same uh, population roughly, uh, but the quantity of uh, uh, rail network is roughly about the same, and yet uh, only 20% of Malaysian commuters, Kuala Lumpur commuters, uh, use uh, public transportation, whereas in Seoul, Korea, that figure is more than double. So what is it that we need to do? What are we doing wrong? How do we need to improve our systems to increase that percentage? So in other ways, in other words, we need to find ways to fill in the missing parts of our nation's land-based transportation master plan, uh, you know, the gaps that are missing between the various modes and the various projects. Uh, we talk about that as we refer to that sometimes as the last mile, for example. Um, you know, recently, um, the Minister of Transportation, Dr. Sri, uh, Dr. Uh, Wee Ka Siong, he expressed his view that the ministry can further collaborate with the National Rail Center for Excellence and the Technology Depository Agency under the Ministry of Finance to raise the capability of homegrown talent and human capital in rail and other transportation systems. So this is another um, important aspect of why we're bringing this uh, seminar together. It's to increase the capability of Malaysian talent in this growing industry. Um, and for too long, I believe that Malaysia has relied on foreign talent uh, to for our for our projects, for our rail projects, for our mass rapid transit projects. And yet, over the last ten or fifteen years, many Malaysian companies, big and small, SMEs, public listed companies, have uh, have really built up a lot of expertise in this area. So we do encourage. Um, uh, the Malaysian homegrown talent. And, and that's why I'm very excited by the fact that we have many universities joining us today. I believe we have up to 10 universities that have joined today's um, lecture series. And we hope a lot of students will be inspired by the presentations and the stories they hear today um, and will begin their own journey 
in this uh, important area. I'd like to wrap up by thanking uh, a lot of people. First of all, I'd like to thank all the speakers of the Veritas Lecture Series uh, this year. We have an amazing, we have a very impressive panel of experts from government agencies and the private sector uh, who are speaking here today. And I'm especially honored that the Secretary General of the Ministry of Transport, Dr. Isham Ishak, will be delivering the keynote address. Thank you very much, Dr. And also thank you to the organizers of Veritas Lecture Series 2021, uh, especially uh, my partner, Ng Yek Seng, who will be speaking later, uh, Wong Kai Yi, Bianca, and the others, and our technology partners, Fusion Work. I must also uh, send out a big thank you to our, um, our sponsors, uh, RFM Facade Products, Jotun Paints, Kibing, Archify, Sri Rimbun, SFT, and Eurofacade. Thank you for making this possible. Without your support, uh, it wouldn't be so easy to have this lecture series uh, happen. And uh, with that, I'd like to hand back the floor now to, uh, to um, uh, Kai to uh, take it from here. Let's have a great day to today, everyone. Thank you.